move. At this time, I'll have my brother over here uh, interpret, talk about this, and after he gets done, have my uncle here, the Korean veteran, have him uh, address uh, uh, our relatives here. I'll have him talk first. Uncle. I have him say a few words first. Yeah. Then you. Yeah. Oh. The song, you know, there's, you know, the song, how we, how we interpret this, you know, uh, sometimes is the subject of families and how families see things. You know, with the Maha language, the, well, how a family looks at, and, and looks at a sentence or how they, how they express themselves. Well, this family over here may do it a little bit differently. So, the, the, uh, the interpretation is the same, but yet it's different. That doesn't make it wrong or right. It's just how it is with our, with our language. So the first, the first words are, when you went overseas, you made me stand so the flag could be raised. And when you returned, you brought the flag back. You saved our lives. So that's, that's a powerful, powerful song right there. You know? And uh, when the words come, those of you that, that uh, have, have had the, the uh, Omaha language, you'll hear the words in there. And, and that's, that's what it translates out to. You know, uh, when you went overseas, Mojo Sheiloke, you know, you made me stand so the flag could be raised. Haska, you know, they talk about that like that. And when you returned, you brought the flag back and saved our lives. Levi Ohanite, that's how that translates out, you know. So. Any questions, you know, just... What was the uh, second, second sentence? When you returned, oh. okay. you brought the flag back. You saved our lives. Okay, thank you. What was the first one? The first one was, when you went overseas, you made a stand so the flag could be raised. Now say it no more. <laughs> Senior moment. Mojon Sheroti Haska Leda Wadaki. Mojon Sheroti Haska Leda Wadaki. Kage Devi no Anita. Anita. So it's, it's two sentences, but it's a real powerful, powerful message. Go ahead, Oko. Go ahead and say a few words. Oh. Uh, I'm happy to be here. I heard about this occasion here, uh, and uh, I look forward to it. And uh, as usual, uh, I'm always late, you know. <laughs> but uh, I've been given the honor to start off the uh, flag song, and it has a lot of lot of meaning to that song. It the uh, song refers to uh, uh, a friend who were uh, fighting and then uh, because of a, a friend he uh, survived the story goes that the enemy was uh, aiming at the uh, aim, aiming at him but before he could fire, his friend you know, shot the uh, uh, enemy, and uh, he so because of his friend, he survived. And this is what the uh, song is all about. Of course, you know there's uh, other ways of. Uh, uh, relating this, and I know 
given the honor to uh, uh, start off the uh, flag song, and not only for the uh, Native Americans, but to those who are, have had served in the armed forces, those still in the service, and of those who did not come home. So, uh, this is what I want to say here. Let you know. No, no, no. Take no. Uh, since we're here to, uh, uh, this is a, uh, we're learning, and um, uh, we want to provide you with uh, uh, as much as we can. So we're going to sing this through again one more time. And um, uh, we're going to have two push-ups. I'm really glad that my uncle here, Uncle Eugene, uh, came here tonight to uh, help us along the way. Um, he's getting to be an old man and uh, uh, I sure appreciate all the help that he can do around here. Yeah. So thank you, Uncle. We're gonna sing it two times through. Again. Flag song.